Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today's ticker is going to be SPCE Space, run by Virgin Galactica of Richard Branson. So first we're going to bring up the little website here. And we got our little link right here that brings you straight to the uh, YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe and ring that bell for future updates. We also have a little place right down here where we have our Twitter site. Please hit that follow button. Miss Vegas is posting alerts on there on a daily basis. And we also have on our website our two locations for our stock twits. Mrs. Vegas's. Hit that follow button. And she'll po we post alerts in there also on a daily basis. So I want to wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day. I hope they had a great one. So let's get right into the uh, website. Now, uh, Spaceport America. This is the world's first purpose-built commercial spaceport where they're going to be launching this baby at. Now, it's located 27 square miles, desert landscape in New Mexico. And uh, Spaceport America, Virgin Galactus Human Space Flight Headquarters is the center of flight operations. And I'm going to pull this on down and show you a couple pictures of the building. There's the runway. And let's go straight into the chart. Now, right now I look at space as a stock with a strong technical chart action but no earnings or revenue now they have sold 600 tickets what i've been told and when the stock storyline is a substitute for a true fundamentals the trade becomes a speculative trade so you got to keep that in mind this is one you got to kind of babysit and we are we've had a wonderful run and i'm going to go ahead and erase this right well yeah i'm going to go ahead and erase this and i'm going to pull up the yearly chart on it. We're going to look at the yearly chart. So this IPO came out. It was right around the 974 area. And she popped on up, run up to about, oh, I'd say 1285, somewhere in there, and just pulled back. This is where I was playing it back when it had that big drop to 690, right under 7. And I bought some options in this, and then once it hit that high right there, I got right out of it and took my profit, and then look at it ever since. It kind of consolidated for a few days, and then we've had that big run. And it's just very big run. And I'm going to draw me a little trend line right here. Whoop, got to get that off there. So we're going to move this right over here. Remember, this is a speculative trade, so you just kind of got to be careful with it. And we've had a real nice pop here last week to where it run up to 28.68. My long target is right here at 29.89, or what was it, $30. So we're gonna pull up the 20 day and have a look at the 20 day right now. The 20 day, we've had a 14.76 run all the way up to this 29.89 area. And we did kind of pull back, and then she had a nice little bounce in. But she really had a nice bounce in to close. Now, they just, um, Friday's news came out, and they have a potential. They, they filed for the potential sale of 31 million shares of underlying warrants. So I guess they're going to try to raise some money. I think this might have a little effect on the stock. I'd like to see it consolidate a little bit, but like I said, this is a very... Uh, momentum play so it's going to have a lot of uh, ups and downs to it but right now I mean we had a little pullback here to the 34 and then we've been riding at 9 all the way up these are the EMAs I have the the 9 the 34 and also the um, I think it's yeah it's 34 and the 200 now this thing can pull back all the way to the 200 create a solid support or it can bounce off the 9 or it can bounce off this 34 so let's go ahead and do the Fibonacci's on it right now. These are my extended trend lines. I'm going to put one right there for support, for the first support. We have a second support right down here at 20. Well, the first one's going to be right around the 2866 area. If that holds, that'll be fine. But it can run down here to 2784 or in this channel right here. But what I like about the Fibonacci 
We'll pull this up. Retracement. We're going to put her right there and bring her on down here to that area right there. Now that first pullback is right here, right around the 2066 area. So it hits right here, down here into my, what I would call a good solid third support, which I have at 2687. So I'm not too far from the Fibonacci line. And if that can hold, that'll be great. Now we do have a channel, a pivot point area right down in here between 2061 and 2415. So we want to kind of keep them in mind when we're trading this and you're allowed to stop this video at any time and write some of these numbers down or draw your own Fibonacci's and see where they come to. But we have a, a little space right in here that I'm going to highlight for right now. And we're going to just go ahead and put it right in here. That little space right in there is going to be your low, low support chamber, which is the pivot point on this run on the 20 day chart. So we're going to delete this to kind of get it up, clear it up a little bit. And I'm going to draw me some trend lines on it where I think this thing can go. Let me change this. We got one right there. And we got another one right here. Another one right here. I like how this run came out and then we had that big breakout on Friday and this was really getting a lot of tension. You have to kind of, this is like the sister trade to Tesla and you know how much I love Tesla. So I've been throwing space, I've been watching space ever since the IPO came out and I do admire Richard Branson. I think he can get the job done. So the resistance we got to break is going to be this 2989 area and the pullback support is going to be your first little One's going to be right here at 2866, 2784, and I don't want to see it go any lower than this channel right in here. We're going to go ahead and highlight that. That's going to be my first, third, probably solid support level, which I'd like to see it hold. Now, if it doesn't hold, we're going to fall down into this area right in here. But for right now, and we have another support level right here that I'm going to type in. I definitely see that. And like I said, man, I really like in this, this trade the way it's come out. We've been running in the room. We have a couple of good option traders that have pointed out, out the trade. And like I said, I've been following it ever since day one. So let's bring this up to the daily one minute and we'll have a real good look at it. First support is going to be right here at 2866. 2784 is going to be your second one. And then you got this little channel in here, and I don't want to see it go no lower than the 2687. If it does, there could be another little channel of support maybe right in here, and then that final one's going to be right down here. Right down here at the, uh, well, what price is that? That's right around 24 bucks. But I think we're just going to pull back a little bit, and we're going to bounce up off either one of these three supports. And that's going to be space. Don't space out. Keep this on your watch list. Remember, it's a speculative trade, and it's one that you just want to kind of babysit, but the break of resistance is going to be $29.89. And I just want to say, we'll pull up the website again. This is I Love Stocks. And I'm out. Have a great day. Thank you.